with the first driver across the finish line declared the winner. The road to rally victory is much more complex. Yet this complexity and the supremely difficult conditions taken as a normal part of the sport lure a galaxy of drivers all over the globe. Drivers might compete in the Arctic wastes of Scandinavia one week and across a baked African belt the next. Day or night, the rally drivers press on to the limit of their abilities, crossing countries and continents, competing over thousands of miles in a few days. The most glamorous events, such as the Monte Carlo Rally, attract over 300 two-man teams for the grueling contest, and two woman teams, as lady drivers have enjoyed great rally success for more than half a century. It is brains rather than brawn that wins rallies. Wherever in the world the rallies are held, time is always the same, and as elusive. elements of rallying, driving the specified distance at the specified speed, are put to the test constantly during the event. Scores of controls along the route determine whether the driver is arriving at the exact time, neither a minute early nor a minute late. Penalties are assessed for missing the recommended arrival and are added to the team's total elapsed time. To drive 2,000 miles across a continent, using public roads and obeying all local traffic regulations, and to arrive at the exact minute, verges on the impossible. But that is what rallying is all about. Il 
Bennett sur Lancia à 25 secondes. 9e Sandro Munari sur Lancia. Sandro Munari à 21 secondes. Troisième Jean-Claude Andruet à 26 yeah. secondes. Quatrième. The first stage of the rally is normally the long distance portion, with a premium on accurate navigation, consistent driving and reliable machinery. Short but brutal special stages usually follow, demanding pure speed and frequently encompassing the most difficult terrain. While the special stages embrace the roughest going, they also often afford the most spectacular scenery. One of the strong spectator appeals of rallying is the remote and rugged country required for a true test of cars and drivers. Only the contestants have little time to enjoy it. As drivers hurtle through snow or mud-clogged curves, their co-drivers call out a description of the road ahead and possible unseen hazards from a set of pace notes. Every effort is made to keep the pace notes as current as possible, but conditions tend to change so quickly that a rally is always an exercise in improvisation. A major part of the lure of rallying is the ceaseless assault on the driver's power to adapt and change in a moment. It is not a sport for the inflexible, nor for those who cherish regular hot meals and a full night's sleep. Forced to cope with extraordinary conditions, the rally drivers have developed extraordinary techniques. To retain speed and control on a glazed mountain road, this driver is tramping on his brakes and accelerator at the same time, using both to wrench his car through the slithery course. It is not a technique mentioned in the owner's manual. key to any successful rally team are the mechanics who keep the car running at a competitive peak with instant repairs, servicing and tyre changes. In the brief time allowed them during service stops, the drivers must decide on the best tyres for the next stage and instruct the mechanics to do any other necessary work.
Simo. Simo, can you explain to him those two spots I told you? Because I can't explain in Swedish correctly. <laughs> Allora le gomme si cambiano e si mette eh, niente bollo, eh? Radio Monte Carlo people that interview eh? and you stop to them and you ask what time has been so so you know that now you have 10 seconds of the The car must be refueled, serviced and sent on its way, frequently in a matter of seconds. A minute lost in six days of rallying could make the difference between victory and second place.
300 starters, less than a third will arrive at the finish after breakdowns, accidents and the elements take their usual toll. The final dash from the mountains to the sea has been described by one driver as akin to a long night of struggling through the Siberian forests and then to emerge directly into a lighted, crowded stadium. The sun reflected off the harbour at Monte Carlo is a welcome end to the journey, but a winning time is an even more attractive finish. engulf the winning pair, who have earned their place with the navigational skill of a sea captain, the deft touch of a surgeon, and the endurance of an Eskimo, and an unseen team of crack mechanics who have kept their tired car in top competitive form. Rally drivers rarely mention the hardships or trials of their sport. They speak mostly of the rewards. Most important to them is the teamwork of two drivers meeting the challenges and quickly finding the answers. If they have a good rally, they have found the right answers. But whatever the results, they enjoy confronting the problems as a team and of overcoming endless hardship in an attempt at perfection. The perfect time is their aim at the starting line of every rally. Whether they achieve it, only time will tell.